Greetings. Welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Slamira, and I'm back once again with a video. Um, so today I wanted to get on here and talk about my locks, okay? Um, my hair has been locked for about a year and a half now. And, um, well, first of all, uh, I decided to get my hair locked a year and a half ago because... For one, it was something that I had been contemplating on doing for a while. And um, secondly, um, my hair was damaged from just um, over the years, the wear and tear, the different weaves and the braids and the pulling and the tugging. And um, so I wanted to lock my hair and start the journey to... Um, achieve just having healthy hair. Um, had nothing to do with style or fashion or anything like that. It's just basically to uh, conquer having just natural, healthy hair. And um, do I regret it? No, I don't regret it. Um, is it taking getting some used to? Absolutely. Uh, especially being that I'm the type of person who always loves to switch up my hairstyles, do something different, get a new weave, and uh, keep up with the styles and the latest trends and things of that nature. However, it's been a very humbling experience. Um, my hair is really soft and fine. And... Um, you know, it got to the point to where, like, the pulling and the, with the weaves and the braids and stuff like that, it was just really uh, damaging and breaking my hair. And um, so it was, uh, for me, it was a necessity. It was something that was necessary for me to do if I wanted to, to, save, to save my hair. Um, so... So, yeah, so, um, and then my daughter also, um, she's 11, but she wanted to get locks as well, and she, she really did inspire me, um, but yeah, so I've been locked for about a year and a half now, and this is what it looks like, you can see. Um, you see my sides, I do have some thinning on the sides. Um, like I said, from my hair being constantly pulled and things of that nature. But as you can see, it's trying to fill in and grow back. Um, but yeah, um, sometimes I do struggle with, you know, the fact that uh, I no longer get the weaves and I'm not in the latest uh, trends and styles as far as that goes, but um, some of the pros is that um, I love just the wind and being able to get the wind, to feel the wind on my scalp and the sun and all that. Like, I really enjoyed that. Um, I enjoy um, just not having my heart covered up and... You know, it feels good to get a natural breeze on your scalp, on my scalp. And um, so I do like that. Um, my hair is like weightless. It's really, you know, not that much weight on my hair. Uh, I enjoy that. Um, no pulling. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm appreciating the growth. I think I have like, I want to say 68 locks. And um, 67, 68, somewhere, somewhere around there. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it for the most part. It's taking getting some used to. Um, like I said, because I always did different stuff with my hair as far as with the weaves and stuff. But, um, um, for the most part, I like it. You know? 
like that, you know, you can see my scalp. And uh, I like the growth that I'm seeing. And um, also the energy that I get. Like, I'm able to, like, be in tune more with myself and being able to um, just embrace my natural hair. Um, so yeah, but definitely took some getting used to, and I'm, I'm still getting used to it. Um, but, um, you know, the journey has been real. I'm not gonna lie, it's been it's been therapeutic to just see the growth and um, you know I'm just embracing my authentic self and uh, I don't know if you can see the back let me try to turn around a little bit see the back So yeah, so um, just wanted to give an update on my hair. I just got it twisted, retwisted a couple of days ago. Um, me and my daughter were down here in South Florida and we went to get our hair retwisted. Very nice young lady, very talented. Um, when she does my hair, she don't, you know, pull it really tight. Um, I go about, we go about every two months to get it done. And um, I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying the process. Sometimes I get a little frustrated because it's like, you know, the same thing every day. It's still kind of short, so I don't, I can't do a whole lot of styles. And not only that, you know, since I am growing my edges back, um, I don't try to pull it as much. So I pretty much um, try to wear it down as much as possible to keep the tension off of my sides. But, you know. Um, I appreciate my hair. I'm glad to still have the little hair on my head that I have. I'm appreciative of it. And, um, you know, will I ever cut them off or, you know, do something different? I don't know. But for right now, I'm just going to embrace where I'm at and continue the journey and the growth. And, um, you know, for anybody out there who is contemplating on getting their hair locked, I would say, hey, go ahead and try it. You know, you can't knock it until you try it. And uh, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for the hair that I do have. And I'm working on being more grateful for um, the things that I have and um, yeah, just embracing who I am. So yes, this is my year and a half update on my hair. Hopefully, um, during the process, I can get my edges back growing. You can see they're growing, they're trying to. I use different oils um, in my hair. And uh, we're gonna continue this journey and see what happens. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in and uh, please share my video. Feel more than free to comment. Um, looking for new subscribers as well as I continue to promote optimal health as well. And thank you for tuning in and I'll see you later. All right. Be blessed. Peace.